Okay, so um, this is the video in question. So it's like I'm going to be playing it in VLC player, just going through it and talking about what's changed or not changed and so on. So I think what I was going for here was basically the list method, which I talked about in my uh, how to make a plan and stick to it video. So please check that video out. But it's a very useful method and I've refined it over time and it works really well. So and yes, now I have even less hair than then. <laughs> so let's let's go and let's see what we learn from this video. Hello, everyone. So how are you? Hope you had a good weekend. Sorry, I didn't make a video last couple of days, but I just wanted to update you where I am and so on. And um, things I'm, I'm doing, you know, it's a, it's a journey. So things I'm always doing to try and improve my life. Okay, so first things first, the way that everything is listed on screen is silly. You know, I, I did get a lot of feedback about that. So, uh, but it gets, it makes the point clear. Like we, we know that there's issues. I've rag rated them, red, amber, green. So red, bad, green, good. So yeah, okay, let's carry on. What have I done last couple of days? So as you guys may have seen, I've actually been trying to live stream. So I'm live streaming again. It makes me feel good. I'm playing Nino Kuni 2. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So that is actually relaxing me. You know, so I am having a really good time with that. Yeah, I mean, I do live stream over on um, my Twitch channel, link in the description. But um, these days, I've actually been having a like harder time to stay focused on it because I'm just so focused on the personal finance and clearing my debt at the current moment. So, and I always feel a need to talk about it because um, basically... My emotions yo-yo. Sometimes I'm really happy and relaxed, and then other times I'm just out of sorts like I am right now. But hopefully I'll get back to where I was when I recorded this video. And I'm taking other little actions as well. So I've been tidying my room more. You know, my desk is nearly empty. Like, you know, it's just there's a lot of, like, space on my desk and so on because there's a lot of, like, it's clean and tidy. And I've done all my washing. Washing is in the cupboard as well. And, um, you know, just generally, I feel better about myself. If you're curious um, about how my desk looks now, <laughs> it is not tidy. Uh, I probably should work on that. You can see there's a lot of um, vitamins and there's a lot of stuff uh, that I need to tidy up. Probably a good point. I probably should actually tidy it up. Okay. Uh, whoops. <laughs> And I'm still watching what I eat, but I'll be honest, I did have a couple of, I had a couple of minstrels. I needed something to satisfy my craving, but that's it. Like I, I, I'm not, I've definitely gone off the fruit juices, no fizzy drinks, nothing. So I'm keeping my control of that. Yeah. Now, since this video, I actually outright quit chocolate and it's now day number 630 something. So like I've quit chocolate now for nearly two years, which might be why I'm looking a bit trimmer. Um, it's also because uh, I've quit everything that is high sugar because uh, high sugar f affects my emotions a lot. So, um, and as you can see as well, a thing to notice immediately, you see how in the background I was hanging up all my jackets, my work clothes, my scarf and so on. And then at the top right, you can see I actually had a map. Whereas now my background is simply Mr. Beast uh, t-shirt that's it. So I've sort of cleaned up that aspect of my life as well. But I've kept strong about the eating healthier and limiting sugar. And I'm having to, I'm trying to have more rice and chicken and proper cooked food. Now, the way I've been accomplishing that, as stupid and as lame as it sounds, is I'm going to my parents' house as much as I can because my mom makes great food. I still do it. So my routine each day, I have breakfast, lunch here. Because my parents live less than five minutes from here. So uh, with my agoraphobia, uh, which I have been diagnosed severely having, I can still just about make it to my parents' house without dying of anxiety. So, yeah. And it's what I've been doing. It's, it's also why I put it into my kind of like budgeting and spending power video that my food spending is nearly zero at this point because I'm buying breakfast and lunch via Amazon uh, Fresh, but then I'm using 
Amazon credit, which I'm getting for paid surveys every month, uh, to ba pay for them. So basically, I'm not spending any money on food now, which is great. Like it's, it's working really well for me. And yeah, my mum cooks way better food than I can cook. It's not to say that I can't cook my own food in the future, but it's just a case of right now, that's how I'm getting by. Proper cooked food. So um, even if it's a cheap tactic and I'm avoiding the obvious of just cook it myself for now, it's something at least because it makes me feel better to have proper food. And I'm still drinking, like I said, all my water. Yeah. And even until now, still have it. And don't worry, I do clean this out every now and then. So basically, I have really well adjusted to a water-only life because it has just made me feel so much better than before. I don't rely on coffee or caffeine, basically, to keep me awake. I never have. So, And that's why I also made my water is best video. So I want you guys to understand that a lot of the origins of the videos on this channel are related to things that I've always felt on the inside. And uh, it goes back even years when you go back to this old video and stuff like that. Now, um, the issues I still have, which I'm still working on, my bank balance, you can see, is still really low. It's gone down um, 100 since the last video. Yes, yes. I mean, while I'm on this journey to become debt free, my bank balance is usually quite low. It's actually a lot better now, uh, but... Uh, it's still less than a thousand at this current point in time, but it is something that causes me ang like it exacerbates my anxiety as well. Always being broke, so uh, but hopefully uh, while we're on this journey to becoming debt free, I'll be able to finally see the balance go up more and more and more as time goes on. And the reason why it's gone down a um, hundred is because I've been buying food. I've been buying stuff I need to live, you know what I mean? So the sort of unex the one time bill, I won't say unexpected bills, they're expected, but they're not every day, you know? So, um, and there's, there's some things you can't avoid spending on, but I still have 150 pounds for the rest of the month and I get paid on Thursday. So I'll easily be able to survive the next three days. Yeah, now um, at the time I was actually working. So, you know, I was getting a decent salary, but because I was throwing so much money into debt relief, you can see at the top of the screen the amount, the loan and then the credit card I had at the time. Um, uh, basically, most of the money would be going into that, which is why I was always living on the borderline. And I feel like even until now, I've been living on the edge uh, when it comes to my finances for a very long time. Like I've lived in this house nearly five years. I've been renting this room and I've been living on the edge mostly since then so i've i've loosened the grip on the finances a little bit uh just so that i don't dance around near zero uh by money to my name every single month uh and that has helped a lot with my anxiety because always being close to zero is not a nice way to live so it can be you know i was trying to be as frugal as possible but i feel there is a limit now, um, and then I can't reduce my debt or my loan until I get my paycheck. Yeah, exactly. So uh, basically, until I get my paycheck, I can't reduce my debt. Simple as that. And I'll do the monthly payment. So my monthly payment on my loan is £480. Wow, £480. Jesus. Right now, um, my monthly payment, because I, I got a different loan with a much lower interest rate. Um, so the monthly payment on my current loan is uh, 130 pound now of course it means that overall um over time i might pay more interest but it actually gives a chance for the balance to build up so that i can then hit it harder like in later months whereas before when i was paying 480 a month just for the loan let alone my rent and so on like most of my salary would just it would come in it would disappear at the time so uh, I've, I've got now a different way of thinking, given that my income is a lot less, given that I'm now a full time content creator. And I've already paid off all the interest it, it, it does with big loans these days, you pay the interest first, and then you just pay off the principal. So basically, 10, 11 more payments, they said, that, they basically said that March next year will be the last payment of this loan. So if I do nothing, if I only do the minimum payment March next year, loan will be gone.
credit card, I'm paying £80 a month. And the problem with credit cards, though, is the interest rate is very, very high. It's like 30% or something, which means that even if I pay £80, then next month it probably will still say, you know, 3.3K remaining or maybe into 3.2. You know, so if I do the minimum payment, the credit card will last forever. Yeah. Now, since then, um, certain things have happened in my life and I still have um, the loan, but I've got a different loan with a lower interest rate. But that 3.3K credit card is eliminated now. So uh, because, as I said, I would have spent £80 a month forever because of the amount of interest basically meant that the amount of principal I was paying on this credit card was basically nothing a month. So it would it would take like a thousand or 2000 months to clear I, I would die of old age before i cleared it so uh basically i i focused on the credit card first so to, to eliminate that because uh and I'm, I'm happy i'm free of it to be honest i'm really happy that it's, it's gone so um i'm gonna uh, when the loan is gone believe me i'm gonna be doing a lot of overpaying and get rid of the credit card asap exactly yeah so it was similar to the way that I, I handled my student loan back in the day. So I had about 16,000 worth of student debt when I left university, and it was taking a proportion of my paycheck automatically every single month, because the way it all works in the UK is that when you're earning above a certain threshold, then they take 9% above that threshold towards your student loan payment. But because of the interest on that loan, on the student loan, I would have basically been paying that amount forever for 25 years until the student loan was written off, because that's also the way it works in the UK, that after 25 years of making payments, the rest of the balance is written off. So I smashed that loan as quickly as I could with the salary from my first job to eliminate it ASAP. So anyway, let's carry on. Now, the good thing is my credit card company has done what they should have done, which is protection on my account which basically means that I can't spend any money on this credit card until it's paid off. And they said you can never spend any on this credit card ever again until it's paid off. And you'll have to apply for a new one once this one is paid off. AKA, I, my credit card got blocked because I had a couple of missed payments. So either way, it's gone. And of course, what I'm going to do in order to make myself feel better is not ever get a credit card ever again. Simple as that. So once this credit card is gone, credit cards are no longer part of my life. Yeah. Now, um, I have received a lot of comments talking about, but you need one to build your credit score and stuff like that. The thing is, from I need to do more research into the difference between the credit score and how it works in the UK and how it works in USA. So I believe in USA or in NA, you guys rely on the idea of uh, building your score like it's a certain amount and then as you make successful payment it goes higher and higher but i think in the uk don't quote me on this like this is just from what i've seen is that it's just based on the amount of debt you have so if you have zero debt completely then your credit score is going to be the maximum so and i don't you might have to rebuild it if you have pushed it down but if your credit card if your credit score is perfect then i think it stays us but i i will probably delve into that sometime in the future to talk about the difference between credit building in the uk versus usa and how the differences work but from what i've experienced that's generally the difference now um unfortunately like money is I think it's a problem for everyone. Like, I did read the responses to a lot of my to my videos and my vlogs last uh, few days, and you see them. I've replied to them as well. And the issue is, is that I know my debts are not that big because some people have have sent me messages saying that they have student debt from America, some some totaling more than a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So, because most of my audience, I, I won't say most, I'll say the majority, probably 50, 60% of you guys are from USA. So I do need to delve deeper into the differences uh, between USA and UK. It's always uh, an issue when uh, talking about these videos. So me having a 5K, sorry, email. I got an email. <laughs> debt, um, or a 3K debt on a credit card is nothing compared to their burden. So I understand that. It's just the 
this is towards the end of the journey. This has been affecting me now for six years. And the reason why I try... It's been eight years now, and I'm still in debt. Uh, but uh, what the way my sort of finances look right now, I've got 35k left on a loan, and I've got about uh, 1200 left on PayPal credit, which I use to buy upgrades for my PC. Thankfully, the interest on the PayPal credit is still zero uh, because I had an interest free option, but the interest will resume in uh, February of 2021. So hopefully, I mean, the target is to clear it by then but it's also as well the fact that i just got the email during the video is like i've always just kept it going when i record these videos and just i really because i was working full time i really just didn't have time to edit videos and cut out mistakes and stuff like that so <laughs> that, that did make me laugh i put so much attention on it is so that it doesn't surprise me it doesn't make me anxious because it has been stressing me out if i'm like going to work or if i'm if i have any period of time where i can do nothing but think then i can start panicking I can yeah so uh, uh, here i'm referring to my agoraphobia and my ocd as well and thankfully they've been fully diagnosed and been taken care of by a psychiatrist so effectively having such a low bank balance stresses me out even if i don't want it to so and uh, that's that's a problem and uh basically having this sort of debt weighing on me even back then um is as always it sort of exhausted me because when i get depressed i just get tired so and uh, it might be reflected on my face here because at the time i was working a full-time job i just didn't have time for anything because and the fact that I was still doing YouTube and Twitch while working in central London, um, I think is actually really impressive. I impressed myself. So like, well done, Mifri. Tap on self some back. <laughs> I start feeling like, you know, oh crap, do I have enough money to eat? Like when I go buy my breakfast, is my car going to be declined? Because I have once, um, only once in the last year, um, I've had it. I went to the shop. I bought some food. I got a whole basket full. And it was only going to cost me about £10. And then my debit card was declined and i was it was the most humiliating thing ever to say to the um cashier that oh i'm broke i actually don't have money and then he said to me okay if you wouldn't mind can you put all the stuff back on the shelf so i was like yeah i still remember it till now because that this was a couple of years ago we're talking about it is it was probably the most humiliating time of my life so what ended up happening was, it's like I said, I went to the shop just to buy £10 worth of food for the day and I couldn't afford it. I was completely broke. My account was overdrawn to the maximum. And I remember that day coming back to the uh, live stream and saying to my live stream, I don't have any money to even eat. And I wasn't talking to my family at that time. So like right now, it's great because, you know, that they live less than five minutes from here. And then I was talking to them and I go see them and so on. But at the time, I was on my own when I first moved here because I was effectively kicked out of my home. So I wasn't talking to them out of principle. So um, but you guys bailed me out. You really did. Like uh, I remember that day I received like 200 bucks for food for the rest of that month. So and yeah, it was humiliating. It was absolutely humiliating to be in that position so and um it's that's i think that's part of the reason why it exacerbates my anxiety is because uh like having a low bank balance is because i just don't want that feeling again of not being able to buy food but the the issue the good thing was i have you guys to help me out so in that situation i mentioned it to my live stream straight away i think a few of you might even remember that this happened probably more than a year ago now and you guys helped me out eating for like the rest of the the month like you donated 200 dollars to me in the space of like an hour when i said i didn't have money for food that the rest of that month so i do appreciate your help with that now yeah god because like i said so i've been in this house uh f four and a half nearly in, in april 2021 it will be five years i've been in this house and uh basically yeah i think that happened within the first year of living here because i was still not, let's say adjusting to paying rent because I wasn't paying I never paid rent before that time and also I had crippling debt so basically my my paycheck would just disappear each month so 
yeah and it was very very finely balanced to a point where i was always sort of like i said dancing around zero sometimes even a bit below zero now um one thing i've also done again to help me out with the money situation is i'm now thinking about and i've looked at every single monthly payment everything and anything that takes money from me whether it's game spending or subscriptions to game websites or um i even was paying 10 bucks a month um for some like meme posting um website which was you know you might have seen it on my account it was like posting memes um on my uh, facebook and twitter every six hours or whatever and that was ten dollars a month so i've now stopped that because i've stopped the memes it's sort of like it was fun while it lasted but the way i think of it is i look at it on a per year basis so ten dollars a month might not sound like a lot but i i look at it as it's a hundred and twenty dollars a year that i'm spending to post memes you know that is not money i should be spending even yeah, if it's absolutely. a tax right off even if it's from a youtube and twitch money I should not be spending money on that. I should be spending that money on things like the gaming and so on. Now, um, so I've looked at everything. So like I said, so game spending, subscriptions. So there's no active subscriptions on any game. I, I have prepaid Final Fantasy for a few months, but whatever. I pay six months in advance uh, when, I, when it comes up. I still have one or two months left on it, so that's fine. And then um, I cancel World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft... I will be playing the expansion, but I'm not going to pay subscription until the expansion. There's still a good six months until then. Uh, ironically, uh, that was before the Battle for Azeroth expansion uh, launched. And uh, I have had the same attitude towards WoW even now. So, Because I, I get just pleasure out of watching, say, Asmongold play WoW. So it, I, I basically cancelled Shadowlands uh, because I was going to play it. I was even like getting ready for Shadowlands, but I didn't spend any money on my subscription, like because you could you have the option to use your in-game gold to pay for a month of subscription. Uh, but then as soon as Shadowlands was getting closer, given that we have other games coming soon, like Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, hopefully, um, it's basically uh, I've I've sort of always found a reason not to play it because of time and money so never mind so i, I will wait until that i've already pre-ordered the expansion so whatever um yeah i didn't pre-order shadowlands because I, I learned from this situation there's no need to pay eight or nine or ten bucks a month until then so that that'll be a good 50 60 pound save and then i don't have any other game subscriptions like the only other game subscriptions i have are like playstation plus and xbox gold but they are paid a year in advance so i still have until like next year until those expire I yeah now um i did actually break all of this down in my monthly spending power video so um at this point in time i'm actually okay to do it and uh speaking to my because i have a, an accountant as well i need to delve into the accountancy firm i'm using and most of it is actually written off tax wise so uh, which is great tax from the um, youtube and twitch income so not all of it but most of it so uh, it's been great for my self-assessment but at the same time i feel that you should allow some pleasures in your life so like for me gaming has always brought me the greatest pleasures in my life uh, so I, I allow some of that to come through because if i was completely and utterly frugal a hundred percent I wouldn't be living my life you know all, all of my focus of life would be to increase my um, income and that's it and um, money doesn't bring me the ultimate pleasure like gaming does so i have to have a balance somewhere did check and they don't auto renew it's a case of when they happen i will um i will sort it out sort of thing now um one thing as well is that um one thing that i do and uh, maybe i don't know if i could show you maybe i could show you just for I, actually, I won't show you but for peace of mind what i do every single day every morning i sit down i check my bank account i have a banking app i can look at my phone i can see this is how much money you have i look at all the recent spending over the last day and so on so there's no surprises yeah so further to that 
like I said in my how to make a plan video, I do I still do that until now. I still check it every single day to make sure there's no surprises. And also, I have jotted out on my calendar in Outlook um, every single expense. So whenever there's a direct debit or payment happening, my phone, the loan, my rent, whatever, it's all jotted out. And I know exactly what day is going to come out. So I'm not ever surprised. Because I think the worst feeling for someone like me is to check my bank balance and be like, oh, crap, how is it overdrawn? You know, oh, where did that money go or whatever? So that's why I check it every single day so that there isn't any surprises. So basically, if I go out and I spend five pound on lunch or whatever, then I can have a mental note of this is how much money I should have left. You know what I mean? So um, I always have that number, you know, the sort of this. Sorry, let me fix my fingers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm an idiot. There you go. This number, <laughs> this number right here. I always have it in That's my brain. Good production values oh, right there. It's really important to do that. For someone like me, it's really important to do that. So there's no surprises and so on. Now, um, okay, let's look at all the other things on my screen. Now, to be perfectly honest, this um, feeling punished one right above my head. I'm so busy. I'm not even thinking about that because I have to go into sort of a negative spiral of everyone hates me mode for that to be happening so you know what i'm gonna get rid of it for now it's not affecting me anymore yeah so uh at the time when i f first made this list um things were just not going well for me and i felt i felt punished especially when i first moved here because like i said I, I was kicked out my parents house to end up living here and um yeah so that feeling punished uh it's, it's not just a case of feeling punished like because like for me if I've actually done something wrong, then I am the first person to lift my hands up and say, okay, look, I'll, I'll learn from it, I'll move on, and so on. But the feeling punished feeling comes from the idea that I didn't do anything wrong and I was punished anyway. So uh, that is where the punished feeling comes from. But at the time of recording uh, this video, I really, I, I felt, I was, like I said, just so busy, I was working and then coming back and then youtube and then twitch and then so on like i had no time to think about anything especially not to feel punished and at night i would just go straight to sleep uh, that's a problem these days but that's a topic for another video and then the feeling good about me i am feeling good about me and i'm doing everything to sort that out so um i will hide it for now yeah it's kind of redundant at that point uh to because it's like saying for example that I feel clean after having a shower and I shower every day. It's sort of, there's no point saying it uh, because it is something that is happening all the time. Now, if I did eventually feel dirty all the time, like my shower broke, then I might add it back to the list. But for now, I am clean. So there's no point talking about it. I do feel good about myself. So I, I wish I didn't have the sort of health issues I have right now, but generally I feel good about myself and I feel a lot more relaxed because uh, of the steps I've taken in the last couple of years. It'll still be on my on my list, but I will hide them. So the issues can become, or the screen can become less less cluttered. Then let's see. The um, using time constructively. I am trying my best now. So Yeah. So, and that's again to do with the to-do list. So I always stay focused. The to-do list it, um, is the biggest blessing on my life is what keeps me focused to get things done every single day so believe me that even making this video is on my to-do list so uh, and once it's done and recorded and uploaded i'll tick it off so um it really has been the best way for me when it comes to say time management and so on to make sure i get the most out of my day simple as that and it really really helps my anxiety you see i'm live streaming i'm working i'm taking care of myself I tidied the house, I tidied the kitchen. Every spare minute, I'm always doing something. So, and I'm in now the daily habit of uploading videos to YouTube again, which I believe me, I've missed. So I'm, I'm really happy that I'm in that again. So I'm doing that properly. Engaging with people. I feel I am engaging with you guys who've been following these videos. Yeah. So uh, talking about engaging with people, I, I do answer pretty much every YouTube comment. And I've even now got to a point, uh, especially on my older channel, my original channel, to actually go back and answer old questions so some of the uh, i even tweeted about it yesterday saying that is it weird to receive a reply to a uh comment from two to five years ago well you got one from me 
like in a lot of cases. So yeah, so I I am trying my best to engage with people and uh, to talk to everyone, and not only people online, like even to my own housemates and stuff like that. So thank you for making me happier by allowing me to help you. I'm helping myself, and also by helping you, I make makes me feel even better. And then the eating healthier, I'm I'm doing that. I'm actively doing that. So. Um, I am conscious about, like I said, fruit juices and any sugar, basically. Sugar, sugar is my number yeah. one thing that I'm trying to sort right now. So let's hide that for now. Yeah, and I've kept that up since then. So you can you can probably see it on my face that I've you know I've become a little more a bit more trim because basically I've limited high sugar in all its forms. So like I don't because I eliminated chocolate, I don't have anything related to chocolate. I don't have cakes. I don't have muffins, brownies, and sweets and stuff like that um and then um every rarely um i i might have a couple of sweets or a couple of biscuits not chocolate based rarely and i eliminated soda so i don't have seven up or coca-cola or anything like that and so on and uh, generally as well i try for my breakfast to have something that's either high in fiber or high in protein uh which has been great and then if I go to my uh, visit my family, then uh, my mom cooks proper homemade cooked food. So I eat proper food um, each day for dinner as well. So I, yeah, I've been keeping that up. So it's not my diet is not exactly perfect. I mean, this is not exactly a health uh, channel, but uh, it has it is something that I've kept going um, since then. Now, now, so if anything, let's um, let's rearrange the screen a little bit. So let's put anxiety uh there in fact let's let's just move them up a little bit just so they take less of the screen so you can see already that my issues are becoming less and less and less which is perfect basically so let's put that 250 videos pending there there we go now um a little bit like that <laughs> so you can see so what was full screen of issues is now just like hang on i can work this out um, yeah. I, I, I'm an idiot <laughs> but uh, it's basically about the whole um, the list method so basically making a list and then tackling all the problems and then or tackling all the tasks and then as you do that the, the list or the burden left becomes less and less and less for me that is so therapeutic and so great and it's something that I still do until now uh, because it's so great knowing that the amount of things on my list is like, you know, so small for me to worry about. It's just, it's, you see, it's already becoming smaller and smaller because I'm taking action on so many other things. Now, the issues have I have left, I still am not exercising. <laughs> I still know that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not exercising as much as I should. I mean, I, I was trying to do an incentive on my live stream that every time someone tips or gives me money or subscribes or whatever on twitch then i will do squats or whatever to um say thank you basically and i've sort of fallen out of that habit but there was a there was a month recently probably three four months ago when i ended up doing four or five hundred squats in a, in in that one month so uh maybe even more so basically uh yeah it, and i said it's it's the the yo-yo Thing. I, I do need to try my best to get back to just a nice exercise routine. But uh, I feel that just simply I won't have peace of mind until I'm actually debt free. So um, I will eventually when I'm really, really just when I it, will, it won't be today because it's already late. It's already like 9 p.m. and so on. But what I'm going to do for exercise, I am not going to join a gym. Yeah, and I will cover that in another video. Because joining a gym will put pressure on my finances. It will, it will simply, and I won't go because the closest gym I have to me is a good 20, 30 minute walk from here. And that's still true even until now. There isn't a gym next to me. So um, I'm not going to do that. Instead, if I do exercise, I'm going to do calisthenics, which are body weight exercises, push ups, squats. Things squats like are my that. favorite. So, yeah. Now, in terms of anxiety, Unfortunately, I still um, I do have anxiety. I'm still suffering from it. So I am anxious about taking the train to work tomorrow. I still am. So um, so both the anxiety and the commute to work, they're still there. Yeah. Now, thankfully, um, since then, um, I don't work 
in that company anymore. I work for myself. So I don't have the anxiety of commuting to work. My commute to work is two meters from my bed to my desk. And it's always been a very severe problem. And also, thankfully, since then, I've had my anxiety diagnosed by a psychiatrist as being severe agoraphobia. So, uh, and that's what was true at the time, and it's what is true now. So at least I now know what the the issue is and why it would make me feel anxious all the time. Like, I don't know if everyone has that, probably not, but uh, it's a case, in my case, it's actually debilitating. It's actually, it is classed as severe to a point. I'm actually in receipt of disability benefit. And the 250 videos pending for 14, they're still pending because... Yeah. So when I said 250 videos pending, what happened is when the Stormblood expansion came out in Final Fantasy XIV, I was recording videos like a maniac. I was recording like just nonstop. Okay, record. Okay, I need to do this quest. Record. I need to do this quest. Record and so on. But then I ended up to a point where I just didn't publish them. I didn't manage my time properly. So I didn't publish the ones I recorded that day. And I ended up with a backlog of more than 250 videos. Now, since then, thankfully, it's all cleared. It's all done. And even I went on, up and beyond. I updated the thumbnails of every single 14 video I've ever um, uploaded. I updated the descriptions, the comments, and the tags, and so on of every single video on my gaming channel. And um, I am still working every single day on my main channel as well as this one. But I still haven't um, uploaded them yet. Now, one thing I'm going so to try gone. and do, um, I'm going to try, I'm not even going to, you know what, I'm not even going to think about it today, because I, I think I've, I, I don't want to overwhelm myself, I think it's really important, I could just save it for another video. I am actually, so I've cancelled my plans to delete the video, so I'm not going to delete them. Yeah, so at the time, I was actually contemplating just deleting them. I was actually thinking that, you know what, if I just delete them, then uh, I don't have to wor like worry about it. But another part of me felt that it would actually be a good idea to go ahead with it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I will publish them, but not yet. <laughs> it's simply not there. Now, we still have more, probably more than a year until the next expansion. So in my brain, it's okay. It's like, as long as these videos are published before the next expansion, it'll be okay. Simple as that. Even if they're really late, some of these videos I've recorded are timeless. You know, they're sort of class quests. They're, they're things that people might eventually do anyway, and they, they might be interested in my point of view of them, regardless of how long it's been. So, yeah. So I will publish those 14 videos. So it's the difference between what we call evergreen content and um, trending content on YouTube. So evergreen, basically, is it doesn't matter if uh, it's recorded now or five years in the future or someone watches it now or 10 years in the future it will still be relevant so that's what i'm alluding to that's what i'm talking about whereas trending topics are what's happening right now you know what what happened today what happened in the news what's about to happen and stuff like that that's what trending topics are final fantasy 14 video now some of you asked a question and i i don't i don't want donations from you guys to help me out but some of you really want to help me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my donation link into the description of the video. Some people have donated already. Some people already found it on my Twitch page or know about it. But basically, you guys know full well, I am working as hard as I can to get out of this situation I'm in anyway. Yeah. Now, the thing is, I, I've, I've always been someone who, um, like... I appreciate every single bit of help I get in terms of tips and so on. I can't, I shouldn't really say donations, I'm not charity, uh, but tips. And uh, basically, if I ever asked for any sort of money help or financial help in the past, it was always ha has been out of necessity to avoid bankruptcy, basically. So, um, and even what happened in the past is like when I first moved here, for example, I couldn't afford the rent at all. I didn't even have money for the deposit. So uh, you guys, again, help me out. So I really, really appreciate that. But it always follows me around. There's always an air of guilt about it. So I actually paid back all of those tips and even added 20% on top. Now, some of you were awesome and like said, you know what, no, this is for you. So they refunded my refund, if you know what I mean. Uh, but uh, like I said, I don't really, I try not to even ask. Like if people choose to... A tip you know i really appreciate you thank you very much but it's not why i do this because basically i do this to try and 
um, share my experience so people can learn and not make the mistakes I make. I try and articulate them in a way which is actually useful for everyone watching. But then also what I do is um, I just do it to reflect on myself. You know, like sometimes you learn things better when you teach it. So uh, by teaching it to other people, I then learn it better myself. And um, like I said, when it comes to tips and so on, I, I do appreciate it. I do thank you guys very much. You've saved my ass more than once. But it's also like I am making decent money now just from ad revenue on YouTube. Like I'm not greedy. I don't need... Uh, block, you know, I don't need to become a millionaire from this. As long as I have a roof over my head and enough food uh, to eat each day, that's all I need and to feel comfortable. And then eventually to become debt free. So, yeah. Anyway, let's carry on. So, but if you want to help me out, if you're determined to help me out, then link in the description, you can donate. And it'll, I will put all of the money towards paying off my debt. Yeah, simple as that. Anything to pay off my debt or improve my life in some way. Like, I, I won't just sit on the money or waste it. Simple as that. I want that, sorry, I want that loan, the loan gone ASAP, because the loan is what is taking the most money from me every month, £480 a month. If I had, like, right now, for example, if this month I didn't pay £480 for the loan, then I, if I, I paid more, I paid it double twice because I was, um, I'm trying to speed it up. So that would be an extra like £960 I would have right now. So if I had that £960, I wasn't putting it towards debt, then £960 plus £150 is £1,110 would be my bank balance right now. You know, I see how my eyes rolling when I calculate in my brain. It's like one, one plus one, uh, two. <laughs> but yeah, but because there's always, there is that balance as well. It's like, do you tackle what takes the most money from you each month or has the highest payment or do you tackle what has the highest interest? Um, it's an interesting debate when it comes to personal finance. So, and then I wouldn't even need to show this bank balance because I'll be like, yeah, I've got tons of money for food. I'm fine. And in terms of me, guys, thankfully, I don't have any, I'm not a gambler. So I don't even pay for, well, I'll be honest. I, I don't even really want to say it, but I don't even pay for porn, you know. What I, mean? it's like, uh, I used to when I was a kid, but I don't. Anymore. That's why I said it. When, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, or when I was like in university, uh, I don't. It's available for free. I don't care about cars, <laughs> so you're not going to see me splurging on some cars or some new rims or paint job or anything like that. I don't have a car, so you know that the money will never. I have no filler. That. And then, in terms of computer spending, literally the only two things I want to buy for the whole of 2018. Is and you guys know because I've been talking about it so much. Is a third screen and a new graphics card. So I got the new graphics card. So I got an RTX twenty eighty, but I still don't have the third screen. Uh, but at this point, what I would like to do eventually, when I when I've cleared my debt, is replace both the screens I have and get three new ones. But that's something for the future. Like I still always am prioritizing debt payments. And in terms of those two, the only thing what I'm doing to wait for them is I'm waiting for the next generation to be announced because we might actually get a next generation announcement next month from NVIDIA and whatever. And we so did. we'll see if there's something even better than the 1080 Ti coming along. Yeah, because at the time, basically, uh, I had a GTX 970 and I thought, wow, if I save up some spare money, I'll get a 1080 Ti. Uh, but it was, then they announced the 2080 and I was like, oh. And then, and then since then, they announced the 3080. So every, every time they announce a new card, I'm like, oh. So, but I'm not going to worry about this generation. Maybe, but 4080 is, is mine. And in terms of the screen, I am really determined to have G-Sync, HDR, and so on and so on. But my financial situation is my priority right now. Yeah, it was my priority then. It's still my priority now. It is what is my focus. It's... Um, it is the thing I want to eliminate. If I can eliminate these two big things from my list, this debt and this credit card, then that will be a massive relief. That will be nearly £600 a month. I don't have to spend anymore. That yeah, so in this case, because I managed to vastly reduce the interest payments and the interest amounts on the, on the debt I have left, uh, basically eliminating it would then save me 200 a month at this point in time. So thankfully, I've been able to reduce how much I'm paying per month by 400. 
So, which is amazing, basically. That's why I'm so much more chill about money these days. That's my rent, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm basically, I'm spending £620 a month on rent. If I could save another, hang on. So 480 plus 80. This is why you should write things down. T <laughs> um, is 560. So nearly my rent. So I could be saving every month. That's a stupid amount because that's basically, that's nearly all of my other bills combined um, is just a loan on my credit card right now. So yeah. But like I said, guys, I am happy that already by taking action on these issues, the list is already getting smaller. You can see this is my list of issues right now. It's already getting smaller. So um, any other issues I list is just me tr going to the nth degree. You know what I mean? So I'm still, you know, I got my hair cut. I did have a long beard. I did shave it down. The, the problem with me is that it grows really quick. But there's not really anything I do about it. I had stains. It's on still my a problem now. Got, I went to the hygienist and got them cleaned. So anything and everything that I can I can think about anything, I am taking action. This is a key word, guys. Take action. Action speaks louder than words. So actually do something. Yeah, and I really, really emphasize that so much in the how to make a plan video. I, I really would recommend it. If you have not seen it, check it out on my channel. Like it is so it's been one of the biggest blessings of my life. It really, really has. Don't want it, do it. You know, as exactly. like Shia LaBeouf or Nike would say, just, <laughs> just do, do it. it. Get on yeah. with it. So, and you can see by me taking action on all these issues, you know, here I am. I'm not even, I can't even do these hands. <laughs> How do I do these hands? I can't even position them properly. Oh. So, yeah. So, this list will get smaller and smaller. Hang on. Is it like this? Yeah. This list, it will get smaller and smaller and smaller. And then eventually, poof. Gone. And then it will be a case of, hey, how you doing? And we're back for another episode. I'm Addition. happy Mithri again. Yay. So, yeah. So, that's the, that's the goal of everything, guys. So, yeah. So, I don't usually like talking about money. But let's be honest. You guys, short of knowing my PIN number and my bank account <laughs> number, it's like, you basically know everything about me. I'm, a, I'm an open book. I really Some know. people said I really shouldn't be. Some people have said that I'm a bit too open about everything. I talk about everything without restriction. I probably shouldn't. But yeah, I do have at no the filler. Same time, the reason I do that is because I want to make sure I, I I rely on your guys' feedback. Let let's be perfectly honest. You know, if you guys were if more than one of you were saying to me, you're doing the wrong thing, then I would actually react to it. Then I would be like, mm, maybe I should reconsider my position. But if only like if no one or one person says it, then I'm not gonna listen. I'm gonna just be like I'm just gonna be set on my ways. So but by being open about it and talking to you guys about it, then um, it makes me feel great. So yeah, and that's still my feeling now. It really is because uh, I do rely on you guys. Um, I do rely on the on the feedback. So thank you very much for it, especially if you got this far into the videos. But it's turning into quite a long video. That's one of you see one of my hidden targets: feeling good about myself. And that's the main thing. When I wake up in the morning, I just want to be relaxed. I don't want to be tormented every morning. I don't want to have these thoughts like, oh, again, you know what I mean? Because that's what it can be like waking up when I have so many things on my mind. And I'll be honest, each one of these problems, it's not that big. You know, it's not so huge. But when you saw there were so many of them that it filled my screen, then it's too much. Then it's like, I was like, I have to do something about this. This is too much. So, and if I can sort these out, wonderful. And as always, guys, um, tell me, what are you still doing to better yourself? We're, we're going to keep this journey going as long as we can. So I said, I'm sorry I've not made videos the last couple of days, but I, I am still here. I'm still with you guys, you know. So And don't be shy. Like, do come to my live streams. Do talk to me about these issues. Um, and it, it will never, there was never an inappropriate time to talk about them. If you want to share with me um, life experiences and so on, then tell me. I've been receiving some emails from you guys as well, um, personal emails to my email address. So, and I do like reading them. I do reply to them. So if you want to share issues and you don't want to share it publicly in the comments, email me. And I'm here to support you and listen to you and so on. Yeah, and that's true still, even until now. And just give my opinion of so on. It's like, life is a journey, guys, and we are not supposed to go through life by ourselves. Simple as that. We are here for each other. If we were supposed to hear by ourselves and God would have made one person, you know, and this one person would have been roaming around the world. We are supposed to be here together. Simple as that. So anyway, guys, um, that's it for this episode. Remember to 
um like favor and subscribe if you feel these videos would help other people you know please share and please let them know hopefully you know the time will pass quickly and then all these issues will be gone hopefully so yeah and um thank you very much guys thank you for being here with me thank you for supporting me thanks for your positivity and your you your or what keep me going with this so thank you very much so anyway guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye yeah so so basically to reflect like since uh 2018 um like what's changed since then really is that i published all the videos so thank god i eliminated that that is done and then i work for myself so i don't have to worry about commuting to central london or anything like that or any toll of commuting at all thank god for that which is great for my agoraphobia i was diagnosed with severe agoraphobia and ocd and um the other things as well like it's literally just 5k debt which is 3500 uh, loan and like 1200 for paypal credit and that's it and then um and then always lack of exercise but they're the barriers until perfection let's say that's until the point where i literally have nothing to do except excel and then push the boundaries even further now i am also a firm believer that money doesn't buy you happiness but it buys you options so uh, that's basically what i'm trying to focus on right now so um yeah so it was funny to look back on this to see how things have changed the last couple of years. Um, if you want me to do more of these sort of reacting to old video content, then let me know. So, and also, as always, let me know in those comments below your experience of personal finance, of debt, and so on. I always, I want to keep this conversation going as long as I can.